Hello and welcome back to my Eyes of Fire, a faithful adventure. Yes, I know you, what you're thinking. Binary, you are not at the Gorgon Temple, are you? No, no I'm not. I am several thousand blocks away in this weird temple thing that I found. Um, because we are on a little bit of a journey. Because in this episode, our mission that has been given to us by Atalantis is to tame a hippogriff. Which I'm actually really excited about because that means I don't have to use these legs anymore. I can fly. Hopefully. Eventually. If this mission uh, is a success. So, yeah, that's why I'm all the way out here, several thousand blocks away from home. Um, I'm not quite at the destination yet. It is over in... Oh dear. It is over in that direction, but I just stopped at this temple thing just to make this little intro here. Um, also, before I continue, I installed the wearable backpacks mod just because from the last couple of episodes I realized that my inventory gets filled pretty rapidly, so I wanted to have a way of storing stuff easier when I'm traveling, and this backpack is really a huge thing for me because as you can see this would have filled out my inventory for a long long time okay so I found a bunch of treasure I found a desert temple not a vanilla one but another one generated um, and it was pretty interesting actually I guess I can sh try show you that if I get close to it or on the way back once we have tamed the hippogriff but anyways this is what we will be needing for today's mission so what do we have here we have a name tag because we obviously need to name it and once we have it tamed and stuff, I will need name suggestions. We need a saddle, so we can ride it of course. Rabbit's foot, we use rabbit feet to tame it and I'll show you how to do that. If I even know how to do that once we found it, not found it, find it. Um, and then we have diamond horse armor here because if I switch up hippogriff here, you can see we can make diamond hippogriff armor. And we make that by diamond horse armor and we can use, well, a just give it a moment, give it a moment, okay, I think you get that, yep, there we go, feather. So we will make that once we are ready for that. Uh, is everything, yep, I took everything, that rotten flesh can stay there. Uh, actually, I honestly don't know why I'm carrying rotten flesh in my backpack, but I, I never know, because I'm new to this mod stuff. Not the mud stuff itself, but ice and fire, so I don't know if it has a use. So I wanna save it. Oh, look at all these houses! I would save them if I could. Well, I probably could, but um, I'm a little bit far from home, so I don't wanna do that. Okay, so let me try and see if I could get close-ish to the... Um, there's a temple I found. Oh, yeah, it's, it's over here. I won't go into it. We might do that. Actually, you know what, we'll, I'll try and show it if I remember it on the way back. Okay, you know what, let me just see if I can find it. There it is actually, over there. Now I do want to be a little bit careful because I did see fire close by, so there is a dragon somewhere close to it. Um, but you can see it doesn't look like an old one because it has so many blocks on it and also it has blue wool there on the tower. Um, so yeah, that, that was interesting. Now, let me see here. I have the coordinates written down in this book x78 and 4700 so almost there I actually just just need to walk a little bit more in this direction and then yeah 300 blocks in that direction so we are almost there and I hope I don't die in the process so let me get over there and I will be back once I see a hippogriff in the area or when I'm in the area who knows anyways see you in a bit Okay, I should be nearing the place where they should be. They should be around this area. Now, it's a little bit bad. I do see some fire over there. And the dragons will attack the hippogriffs, which is what I'm afraid of might happen. But I'm pretty sure I've seen two of them roaming around here somewhere. So let's see if we can find them by any means necessary. That was the mountain we were having a nightmare with. In the last episode where I died multiple times and there was a big red dragon patrolling that area so yeah that was not nice let me see here let me double check on the coordinates uh, yep yep should be around here somewhere so 
I guess it's closer to the mountain area because they do they spawn in the mountain areas. Oh, there's one. Yay, we found one. Okay, so basically from what I know, to tame them you need them to uh you need to get them on the ground in order for you to tame them. And I don't know when this guy is gonna land. So from what I know, you just gotta follow it until wait, it lands. Maybe. At least it's going no, don't go towards the dragon. Come on, buddy. Land. You can do it. I I don't know if you have to do anything to get them to land. I just know you when when they have landed. Oh no. Um you should throw the rabbit's feet on the ground and they should eat them. Oh no, don't go near that place. Don't go near that mountain. Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> you see fire over there, buddy. You're gonna die. Okay, I don't know if it will get attracted if I throw one down. Let's see. Eh. Wait, maybe? Nope. Doesn't care whatsoever. I think you just gotta follow it until it lands. So this could be quite interesting. Uh... Doesn't seem to get tired. I guess it will have to sleep eventually. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, come on, buddy, land. It's dangerous out here, especially at night time. I could sleep, but if I sleep, then it will turn it back to daytime. And dragons do sleep in nighttime, so I kind of don't want to. Come on, buddy. Get down. Nope. Okay. Guess not. Guess I just have to keep running after it. And by the way, no, I did not go and hunt uh, 24 rabbits and killed every single rabbit that I found. I'll show you that once we get back home. I just need this guy to land. Come on. Almost. Maybe. I don't know if it's affecting that I'm this close to it. Not sure. But I think what I'll do is I'll cut out and be back once it has landed. Because otherwise this is... It's gonna be a very long video because I don't think it's gonna land anytime soon. So yeah, be right back. Okay, it finally landed. I have no idea how long I've been chasing this thing, but it finally landed. Now stay down, stay down. Eat that, eat all of them. I don't care how many you eat, eat them. Oh no, I saw bro. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so from what I know, you gotta throw Rabbit's feet at them or something. But eat it, you stupid thing. Okay, I click on it. No. Oh, there we go. Wait, did it take one? How dare you shoot my hip grip, you stupid skeleton. Stupid. Oh, no, creepers. Okay. Okay, hold on. Don't kill my thing, you things. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on here. Hold on. It is not exactly safe at this point in time to mm. die, die. Oh, I got a music disc. <laughs> Yay. There we go. And you die too. Okay. I have no idea if this thing is tamed yet. Is it? It is. It is tamed. Yay. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so that's apparently how you do it. You just gotta throw it at them. It took one rabbit's foot. I have been sitting there waiting for 24 of these to make sure I have enough. <laughs> okay, then. Nice. Okay, you know what? Let's sleep so it becomes daytime where it's a little bit safer. Um, okay, so apparently you can control these guys with a stick. Right click. It's wandering. Staying. I want it to stay. Okay, and then I can shift right click to set their home position. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so... Okay, that only took one rabbit's foot. Okay, wow. Well then, let us make a crafty table. This this guy is loud. You know what, I'm actually gonna lower this. Just because I feel like it's way louder than everything else in the game. Let's make some hippogriff diamond armor right now. There we go. Get my backpack back on. And get you some armor. Oh, that is looking 
beautiful. You're beautiful. That, and I guess we can add a chest as well, if I could just get some more wood. You stay right there, buddy. I'm gonna... No, no. You stay right there. Okay. And I will be right back. With... Okay, cool. With a chest. And... I wonder how much it will be able to carry then. Because that will be very useful. Okay, I hate that. That will be very useful for the future in um, on travels. Let's see, add a chest. Nice. Buddy, you can carry all of that. This is where we found him. Uh, put all of that in there. Okay, sweet. I guess it is time to get home. I really want to show you in there, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, let's just get close. Okay. Oh, it has a lot of hearts. Okay, let's get over there and uh, we'll take a look at this place. Okay, here it is. I saw some fire over there, so yep, yep, yep. How about we put you way over here behind this hill. Yep, that's, that's right, sit down. Uh, okay, let me move in close. I have been here. Um, so we should hopefully be good. Let me just see if I can get in here and show you how this area looks or how this place looks because it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so this is the inside and if we go down here, you will see that it's not like a normal desert temple at all. It is a rather special one. And you can see where all the chests were, but there was a specific trap. Actually, I want that. There was a specific trap in here that, to be honest, is way better than the um, the trap in normal desert temples. There were TNT here and a redstone there, and then there was a diamond block right there with blocks around it, like so. So you couldn't see the redstone stuff. So had I mined that without breaking the redstone or the TNT, this entire place could have gone boom. Well, this bit anyway. So I think that's actually a better trap than the trap door. Not trap door, the pressure plate. But I mean, it's so cool. <laughs> I like I like this place. It looks 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 pretty cool and it adds something different. Anyways, that was that. Let us uh you know what, whatever. Let's get back get table griff and get back home safely. Now, I don't remember the coordinates. <laughs> I should be able to, uh, oh yes. Okay, this is way better. Okay, that's fine. This is way better than walking. Okay, way better than walking. <laughs> okay, how do I? Put it down then. I guess I just press shift. I'm not sure. I'm gonna continue on. Um, yes, continue on. Get back home and I can show you some of the few things that I have done. Well, this is epic. I gotta say, this is so much better. Oh no, that's a dragon. That, 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 that's, a, that's a dragon thing over there. That don't wanna go there. No thanks. I'm gonna get home, hopefully say in safety, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you back home. So stay tuned, hopefully I won't die in the process. Anyways, I'm gonna cut it here and be back at home, so stay tuned. <laughs> and we are home, you will be able to see it in just a second here. The temple is right there now. I want to try and land this thing, and I'm not sure if shift will just throw me off the saddle or if it will actually make the thing land. So I'm gonna do it right over here by these trees to make sure that I don't die from fall damage. Okay. Ah, yep, that happens. Okay. Uh, is there a key bind for a... Uh, <laughs> Dragon down X. Okay. X. Got it. Ow. Okay, got it. 
Okay, I'm happy I didn't try that at another point. Okay. Sweet, let's get down right here. Heal my wounds. And I will show you some of the stuff that I did. Okay, actually, let's move right over to the Gorgon Temple. Because, as you can see, I have done a little bit of cleaning. There we go. Nice. Okay. As you can see, I have done a little bit of cleaning on the outside. I removed the vines from the outside here of the temple and also repaired the pillars where they were collapsed. I didn't go very far down here. As you can see, I didn't finish this this bit. There's a creeper there. Um, but I think I have decided to live inside the Gorgon Temple. Um, some of you said that I shouldn't. Some of you said that I should. So I think it is just me that has to make the decision here and I think that I want to live in here. Now I don't want to live in this particular part of the temple, I want to live <laughs> I want to live down in the basement where it is safe so I will have, oh dear, I will have to be doing some renovating but for right now I think our Gorgon will Oh, Gorgon? No, not Gorgon. What am I saying? <laughs> I think that uh, our Hippogriff, unnamed so far, will be able to live in here. Um, I want to just clean some of this up real quick here. Take some of that. Get rid of some of this. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of some of this stuff. We'll be able to repair the roof up there. Um, I think we should be good in here with the lighting, just in case I'm gonna put some extra torches up. Just like that. And I'm gonna put that there. Just gonna remove these and then our hippogriff will be able to live in here for now until I get a proper place set up. How about that? And there we go. Uh, that is still extended. How come? I have no idea. I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> okay, um... It's one of these, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of these, definitely. Break that. Eh. It's one of these for sure. It has to be. Maybe? There we go. That was the one. Nice. And then we'll be able to just do that. Nice. And then it's just a staircase down. Let's get the Hippogriff in. Actually, um, I have two major questions right now. No, okay, because I, I was hearing fire and I was like, wait, where's it coming from? Is there a dragon nearby? <laughs> but no, it's just a fire from the basement. Let me get in here. Ow. Let me get in. No, no. Eh? Sleep? Oh, come on. Fine. You will die. You too will die. Eh. Eh. There we go. Killed it. Okay. Let me get in here. Sleep. Oh, by the way, this this is my chest so far. I have been gathering some stuff. I have not been mining yet. I have not been mining whatsoever. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? That's a... Oh, there he is. Eh. There we go. Okay, now I should be able to sleep. <laughs> Okay, let me sit up here. I haven't done any mining yet, but I have been farming and doing stuff. And let me show you how I got those rabbit feet, by the way. Let me get over here. So I made a little farming area here to farm kiwis and to find, farm this kinev. Because with the kinev you can make um, string, which is pretty, pretty useful. Because what I then did with the kiwi and the... <laughs> And the string, I made bait for those things over there. Let me just show you. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, ground traps. Because when you then put the bait in there, it, well, gets used. And one of the things that you can catch, other than pretty much raw meat and, I believe, leather and feathers as well as, but, well, as some other stuff, I think, even bones. Um... It's rabbit feet, so that is basically what I've been doing to get those 24 rabbit feet. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's put you inside right here. Nice. And I think I should be able to shift right click. Home position has been set to nice. Nice. This will be his home for now until I can get a better place set up. I too will move in probably downstairs here. Um, oh, that's a spider. Of course there's. So yeah, this, this is going to be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to be doing down here or how I'm going to live in here. Um, but I, I'm thinking of living down there just because I can. But I'll decorate this place as well. But anyways, that's actually today's vision. A pretty short one. Now, I do believe I know what is up for the next um, for the next episode. And I do want to show you actually. So, we're going for a little bit of a flight. It's pretty close. Kind of scary that it's so close. But... Um, I found something while looking around. And also, by the way, I have been scouting out this, pretty much the surrounding area with this mountain. There's ocean over here, as you can see, ocean, this mountain, and then there's land over here. And we're pretty safe. I haven't seen any, um, any dragons nearby or anything, except for this one thing, which is a little bit concerning. Yeah, that thing. I don't want to get too close. But yeah, that thing. That is a dragon lair or dragon nest thing. I don't remember what they're called. But in there, it's a pretty... Should be a big nasty dragon. But also a bunch of free resources. As you can see, all those emeralds. There's even lapis on there as well. And I want to get down there and, well, see what we can find in there. And also kill that dragon, because that is fairly close. Um, and I do believe Atel wants me to do that in the next episode, so you can be looking forward to that. But anyways, I think I'm actually going to cut this episode here. It's probably a little bit short, but um, yeah, we, we got the mission done. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet enabled those notifications. Uh, join stuff below. My Discord server, Twitter, and Twitch is down there. Be sure to follow me and join it. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time, where we'll, where we will be raiding that place unless Atlantis has some inspiration and wants me to do something else. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Goodbye.